MMA Fight Corner. We've got UFC 164 fighter Ryan Couture online with us. Ryan, thank you so much for joining uh, the MMA Fight Corner. How are you, buddy? Doing great. How are you guys? Man, we're fantastic. Thanks so much for taking some time out of your training schedule. We know you got a huge fight tomorrow night uh, and joining us on the show. Great to have you on. You've got Heidi, Phil, uh, Joey, and Dr. Burke from Hangover Heaven. we got a full, full panel for you. They're the whole crew. <laughs> Seriously, Ryan, thank you for joining us. I know today's weigh-ins, and it's a busy day for you, and we really, really appreciate your time. Thank you. No problem. My pleasure. So, so listen, Ryan, uh, there's been a lot coming up for the, this fight. Obviously, the publicity is through the roof with the, the lightweight title. And in your first fight in the UFC, you you know were designated as the co-main event uh, across, uh, you know, across the pond. Uh, a lot of pressure. Uh, but now... None of that's there. There's not the major media, any of that leading up to the fight. How has the preparation been leading in and the, the mentality? Uh, it's been great. Uh, I'm kind of excited to be flying a little more under the radar this time and to be fighting early, getting it over with. Uh, I think that'll, that'll be a big help in dealing with the nerves this time through. Um, camp's been awesome. I feel sharp. I'm ready to go. Just got to shed a few pounds here. I'm cutting weight right now, actually. Well, speaking of camp, I know there's been a lot of changes over at Couture over the last couple of months. Has that affected you in any way? No, not at all. I still have my uh, core crew, core group of guys that that I train with, and and uh, you know my my training team has has stayed completely intact. So uh, things have been going great. Now you were originally set to face Quinn Mulhern, correct? Yeah, that's right. All right. Now it's been enough time, but did you have to change anything up in camp uh, for Al? Uh, we, we were so far out when, uh, when the opponent change happened that, that we hadn't really got too deep into specific game planning and, and, uh, that, so it was a pretty minor adjustment. Uh, conveniently also, I think the way that I match up with Al is, is similar to how I matched up with Ross and, and some of my previous opponents. So, you know, it was kind of back to familiar territory, really. Uh, Quinn would have been, a would have been a bigger adjustment to, to what we've been doing in training because he's such a different style and such a different build. With uh, Al, he's actually been out of the cage for over a year. Do you feel like that's an advantage on your end, that he's maybe have that kind of ring rust and he'll have to feel it out coming right back in? Uh, I think it could be. Um, it, it may cause him to start a little slower or be, you know, take a little longer to find his groove, uh, but it also leaves a little uncertainty as to what tools he may have added and what changes he may have made in that time in the gym. So you know, I can't expect him to be the same guy he was a year ago. Yeah, how do you uh, feel about what you have seen from him? Have you really been able to catch much? I mean, because he only had that one fight in the UFC. Uh, how hard has it been to find tape on him to actually really try to figure out what his skill set is? Well, I got to watch all of his fights from the show as well as the finale, and then uh, track down a couple of really old fights on on uh, YouTube as well. So, you know, I feel like I've seen most of most of his fights, if not all of them, by now. And uh, you know, his, his style hasn't changed too much. He's just gotten better. He's he's tough he hits hard he's aggressive he's going to come forward and try and take my head off so i'm um, kind of used to that we've trained for that before so just gotta gotta play to my strengths try and get a hold of him and, and make him grapple with me and, and see if i can get the submission you said that this time around you're um feeling better about flying under the radar what was it about jumping into that ufc stage that was so different from being on any other um i don't know there were i mean there were a lot of factors going into that one uh had a little bit different group in my corner than I nor normally have. I was fighting overseas for the first time, fighting on the UFC in the UFC for the first time in a, in a huge arena, a huge crowd, uh, co-main event, uh, just a lot more media attention because of that. So, you know, it was it was a whole whole slew of things kind of stacked up that it made that a little bit more nerve wracking experience than most of my fights have been. Ryan, you, you talked about experience and, and, you know, coming into any fight, uh, whether you lose a fight or you win a fight, you know, you learn from the experience. What what was your biggest learning experience that you had in that last fight with Ross? Uh, just got to relax a little bit and let things flow. I think uh, I fought really tense, kind of drained my gas tank quicker than I would have liked. And, and uh, I think that tension led me to make some mistakes that Ross was able to capitalize on and, and uh, cost me the fight. Uh, but I also learned that I'm more than capable of competing with a guy at his level, and, and I think I proved that in the first round. I did really well, started strong, and you know I just got to loosen up and relax a little bit so I can see it through to, to the finish. 
Yeah, you know, from watching the fight, you didn't look tense at all. You looked loose, relaxed. You looked like you were ex- executing your game plan to a T. And it looked really like, and I'm not making a scapegoat here because I, I kind of like you. I, th- I think you're an all right guy. Uh, but it, <laughs> He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. He's not bad. No, but it looked like the beginning of the end of that fight happened because of a slip. Uh, yeah, I threw I threw that inside kick a little a little sloppy, and, and I'm not used to a guy reaching for that and catching it the way Ross did. I've never seen anybody do that, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, he knocked me out balance with that kick, and then he hit me hard while I was on my back, and I kind of panicked and made a lot of mistakes trying to scramble back to my feet. So, uh, you know, definitely some some things to tighten up there. But but uh, I know I could see from watching the tape that every time we were in the clinch, I was squeezing with all I had. And, was was really tensed up there in those positions where I need to be a little more relaxed and comfortable because that's that's where I want to be in the fight. So, you know, there's definitely some adjustments to make, but but nothing major that we had to overhaul. Let's talk about your fight placement on the card, and, and I just want to get your thoughts as to the why and the where and the how this went down. How you go from your debut in the UFC to being as it's your debut. You know, I think it was your seventh fight, was it eighth fight, maybe. Um, and uh, eighth fight, yeah. eighth, eighth fight debut, you're the co-main event, and then your second fight, you're the first fight of the evening. You know, that's such a disparity going from the co-main event to the bottom of the card, whereas most guys would come in as at their first fight at the bottom, bottom two or three. So what do you attribute to that starting so high, then going so low, and not kind of just being in the middle throughout the whole process? Uh, that first fight was on a, a fuel PV card with, with not as much uh, name power on it, so... You know, they, they, uh, you know, a guy like Ross, who's well-established, and then I've got a last name that a lot of people know. I think it made sense to put us higher on that card just based on how many recognizable names there were to choose from. Uh, this, this card is much more stacked. It's a pay-per-view. There's a lot more established, experienced guys ahead of us, so it makes sense that I'm a much, much lower spot on the card this time. Yeah, well, I tell you what, either way, Ryan, we were talking about this earlier in the show before you joined us. I'm looking forward to seeing your fight uh, versus Al Quinta more than I am almost anybody else's because we loved having you on the show the first time. And best of luck to you this time. Hopefully you come back, you join us before your next big fight, uh, and great luck to you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, and I'd be happy to come back. All right, thanks so much. Thank UFC 164 fighter Ryan Couture, again, fighting Al Quinta in the Facebook prelim. The MMA Fight Corner.